It wasn't easy growing up as an immigrant. It was different. Because every time I got in trouble, my mom would get mad, you know? And every time I got in trouble, my mom, you know, she threatened to send me to my room. It was awful. Seriously, it was awful. But it's different because my mom judged everything on one standard. Is that why we came to this country? She always said that. I could be lying in my room watching TV. She'd come in. Ah, is this why we came to this country, huh? <laughs> to lie around like a prostitute, huh? <laughs> oh, and to watch the A team. No. That's A team for the non Spanish speakers in the audience tonight. I don't want to lose anyone right off the bat. A lot of kids in the house growing up too. A lot of kids, one bathroom. That became tough when I got older. Started spending quality time with myself. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> People always knocking on the door. One time my mom barged in, she's like, ah, is this why we came to this country? <laughs> to play with the pollo loco. Ay, Dios <laughs> mío. <laughs> and people have kids, and they think because they have kids, they can do things like cut hair. Yes. Did your parents ever do this to you? Yes. That was some crap, wasn't it? Oh my God, there should be like a hotline you can call. She's picking up the clippers. Units are on the way. Because it is different when you're an immigrant. The little things, like every time I got in trouble, my mom would get mad and threaten to send me back to Latin America where I'm from. She'd be like, oh, do you want to do that? Then you go back. Then she'd pick up the phone, pretend to call the airline. Hello, ticket for one, please. A round three? No, one way. <laughs> now see, that's the difference. You guys got grounded. I got deported, all right? <laughs> 